Today I have the privilege of saying hello to you all the way from Danai, which is a very small settlement, uh, about a five hour drive west of Nairobi. We're gonna be spending several days over the next week running a therapy clinic here at the Danai Primary School, which is home to about 400 students. So are you guys running? Yes. Let's go run. <laughs> Goodness, these kids are fast. I'm out of breath. These buildings behind me have been built by a Better World Canada over the last decade or so. When they first found these schools, they were just like basically decrepit wood buildings over a concrete slab. And uh, this is just one of several schools that a Better World has partnered with here in Kenya. Now something unique about the school is that it is just one of a small handful of schools here in Kenya that actually integrates both physically able-bodied students and developmentally disabled ones as well. Now I realize that that may not seem like such a huge deal, but here in this part of the world there is a huge negative stigma with both mental and physical disabilities. Here's what I mean by that. A lot of people here believe that if you're handicapped it's because you've been cursed by the gods or witchcraft or some kind of spirits or something like that. And so what happens is a lot of times the handicapped children oftentimes are either killed or or neglected, abandoned, or at bare minimum, they are relegated to the back room of a house and like really hidden away from society. We just finished our lunch and now we're gonna go into the market and explore a little bit. Ooh. Hello, high five, woo! So what you got there, babe? Mangoes. Mangoes. How do they compare to the ones from home? They're pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So every time I travel internationally, I get one of three greetings by the locals. Either they call me Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, or Ching Chong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a Amazing. guy just over there just called me Ching Chong. Yeah. You call him Ching Chong? Lauren, first time here, huh? First time in Kenya. What do you think? It's a lot to take in. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of good work we can do to help the people here, but it's, it's a lot to take in. So right here, this is someone that you definitely have to meet. This is Justice. Uh, Justice is the one that's in charge of the small home here in Nadai. Uh, Denai, sorry, Denai? Denai. Denai. Denai yeah. um, and you take care of all the disabled children here. And yep. so if I understand correctly, not only do they receive education mm -hmm. and food, and they actually live here as well, but you were saying they all also offer many other services here. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you do for the disabled children here? So what we do with the disabled children is that uh, we assess them. Mm -hmm. They need corrective surgeries. Uh -huh. We take for the medication. We also do the counseling, counseling. for these children mm -hmm. to accept the disability. The yeah. counseling takes two forms for the parent mm -hmm. and then the children. And even the teachers themselves. Some wow. of the teachers, they don't even accept these kids to be in their classes. So we do the counseling all over, all around. That's amazing. Yeah, because of the nature of the, the culture, the tradition. Mm -hmm. You were yeah. sharing with us yesterday mm -hmm. that you've done over 100 surgeries yep. and have over a 99% success rate. Yes. And so you've seen a lot of children come through here yeah. and now they are thriving and doing mm -hmm. wonderful things out there in society. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm Thank very you. excited to be here and Thank I think you. what you guys are doing is awesome. And with that said, that actually will bring us back to the therapy room where I'll show you guys what we are doing right now. Yes, this is the therapy gym uh, for the kids here. We saw nine kids yesterday. They're new to living here at the school. Um, a lot of them have physical disabilities, cerebral palsy, meaning they have a lot of tone in their limbs and it's hard for them to get around and walk. So some crawl on their knees, some can't walk. Actually, most of them can walk. Um, and some are in the wheelchair. So we really evaluate uh, what they have and the skills they do have and then set up exercise programs in order to get them more mobile and functional. And over here on the wall, we do have uh, the home exercise programs with pictures of the kids and the different movements we want the therapy aid to follow up with. We do have a therapy aid here. Um, his name's Thomas and he works with the kids every day of the week. So yeah, it's really great to have that. 
Well, there you guys have it. We've made it back to our hotel for the evening, but I did want to share with you guys a couple of the highlights from our last couple of days. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go a little bit more in depth into what the clinic looks like and really what is the work that A Better World is doing in partnership with some of the local therapists on the ground. I think it's going to be pretty exciting and I can't wait to share it with you guys soon. But as I like to say, until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger and I encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.